I feel like this should be working out way better for me. I feel like this hero sucks. I'm going to play it, but I feel like Goldilocks is actually low-key bad. I feel like it might actually be C or D tier. I kept talking about how maybe it's actually high B or low A. My playthroughs with Goldilocks just often I get the extra money and then I get presented a shop full of trash and even the go to six turn, which should be very exciting. I think Goldilocks might not be good. The sweet Goldie game the other day on 4-0, there was a masquerade ball and you took all of the fives. That does sound fun. There aren't a lot of like real wild, I'm going to take over the game kind of fives these days. Yeah, I don't like this shop. I like this one. I like this shop a lot. I'd like to get a chicken. A chicken really helps smooth over the level three turn because it gives you the perfect amount of gold, right? Because you go to level three and you have five gold and then Goldie gives you two more, you got seven and then a chicken takes you up to nine and you can buy up three of the threes right away if you want them. Yeah, that's a good point, Bardaga. Goldilocks is interesting. That was a good hit. It's about the best we could have done that combat. So we take that, and then I guess we're taking this or this. It doesn't really matter too much between these two. This one kind of stinks because it dies to falling stars later. This one kind of stinks because I'm like I'm a moment away from making any kind of triples. Would have been better to just like get another. Just even a even a Billy Gruff would have been a better hit than any of these three. Sure shot, crafty, blind mouse. Billy Gruff would have been much better. Problem with chasing a blind mouse is like the next shop's not going to be any blind mice. And then the following shops, who knows how many I'll find. You know, like it, it could take me a lifetime. Lance is a bit so-so these days, even when you get it early. Well, I'd like to get a free shot. Oh, I do. I do get a free shot. Okay. That cleans up a little. Unfortunately, I just can't win these fights. And unfortunately, this is not what I wanted to find. Uh, I guess we're going optimistic, Goldie Dwarves. Just earthquaking. Just fill out the mana here. Or the gold. Mana. Gold. <laughs> Same difference. You feel like Mouse is still more upside? I feel like if, uh, if I get to level 4, I don't want to be chasing mice anymore. So, like, and I don't want to be spending two gold, a.k.a. one gold, right? Because if I sell it back later, it only costs me one. But I don't even want to spend that one gold on it. I'd rather be spending gold on stuff that, like, wants to be on the board. Especially while I'm still filling out the board. So I'll take the, I took the sure shot just for the upside of, like, it did, it actually did have some upside there. It was able to take out two things instead of just one. The mouse would have dealt me one more damage. Well, Zippy, I got some stuff for you. Well, that, uh, no, the worst hit, eh, but the best hits there. All right. Zippy killed off all of my cats and my doubly. That hurt my feelings. So we take this. No sweat. We take this. Barely even a consideration. This goes on the front because it's getting the Minotaur buff. And then we leave the donkeys alone because we kind of want a dwarf for now. And now that we're on this turn of the game where the sure shot doesn't even play anymore, a blind mouse on the bench would certainly be better than a sure shot on the bench. But the sure shot did save me one HP. And actually that last combat was pretty good too because it didn't go bumping into stuff. So it also prevented one kill, I think, because I think it got to shoot something. So it prevented Zippy from getting one quest progress. Yeah, the little things might not make that much of a difference down the line, but they can add up. Saved one HP, dealt one damage, prevented one Zippy Slay. It's kind of fun, actually, like looking at what was the difference between play X and play Y. That was what it was. Saved one HP, dealt one extra damage, prevented one Zippy Slay. All right, I'm not working on this. No way. I'm taking it to get it out the pool, but I'm not working on it. Too rich for my blood. Uh, a lot of this is kind of... 
I might just go full economy mode for a second. Just go like greedy eco goblin. I'm still incentivized to play into this Princess White a little bit. Unfortunately, we didn't collect any triples of anything on level three, which kind of means we're already way behind this game. And now we're going to get a whole bunch of like, who knows if they're any good level fours. I kind of almost don't want to be like, I want to be presented a shop full of Amy's. I kind of almost don't even want a fanny because a fanny will go down on the back line and then all of a sudden, I'm going to have these awkward scenarios where my front line doesn't die, and then Fanny goes in and hits, and then my front line is bait. So I'll have this doubly that's a 4-4 in front of a Fanny. It looks like it's got a lot of stats, and then it'll survive all the way around until the Fanny hits, and it'll just be left with this, like, 4-4 stranded on my front line. I can see it now. I can already see it. Probably should play the 5-3 over the 4-5. Oh, well. Yeah, if, if there was a Masquerade, I'd do it. I'd look at a shop full of fives. Okay, if you want your stag to hit, but it's got nine health, you might not have to put it in slot one. Throwback to previous games. Good. Good. Excellent. I'll take a tie. All right, well, we're not Masquerade Bowling, because there is none. All right, I don't think we're playing dwarves either. This is a triumph. Uh, so this can go... Uh, this can go away. We're never working on this. I have somewhat of an idea here. So I want Chupa. And actually these are going to go. We're going to we're going to flip a lot of this board around. We're going to throw a support behind Chupa. We're going to throw another support behind Chupa. We're going to We're going to ditch this. No, I think we're actually playing this. I think we're ditching this. We're taking these. Uh, what are we ditching? Are we keeping this? We need to sell off four things. That's a better buff catcher. You know what? Fine. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. You're gone. Come here. Now we're just keeping the frog. You're gone. You're gone. Get buff Jupa. I should have moved the friendly around a little bit. Oh, as long as Chupa slays here, everything's good. Whew. Okay. What are we... How, what? How do we have so many copycats? <laughs> Excuse me. Do you know how many copycats you have? Because that's like... That's a lot of copycats. Um, pardon me. Have you noticed how many copycats there are on your board right now? All right, I like my, I like my board. All right, so how do we do this? That Chupa probably can just slay. This Chupa might not be big enough to get a slay, but we'll go for it. And then we need that pair there. We definitely, we want to make the, like I'm, I'm looking to make big Chupas. Unfortunately, I'm like super weak to Fireball. I kind of thought we were going to end up playing Dwarves, but that opening shop had nothing to do with Dwarves. Oh, it got the sleigh. Let's go. Land on range. Oh, okay. Wait. Wait. Friendly's only got one target anymore. It's arranged. No. No. Oh. Oh, we needed that one to shoot the... All right, fine. <laughs> it's arranged. Oh, no. I gotta take it. Nah. Oh, baby, what a shop. What do we want to do? I think we just make one big chupa and then save. Do we ever get Evil Eye? Evil Eye could be kind of cool. Nah, let's just make the big chupa. It gives it a better chance to slay, too. Evil Eye could be kind of cool. Huh? Okay, next turn we get two extra gold, and then after... So I'm, I'm saving for this lady, for sure. And then after I reroll, I'll see a shop full of fives. Big Chupa? Start buffing a Baba with a Chupa? Chupa Baba? 
Babacabra? It's a very suspicious board of all health right now. I just need a board that loses to a pillow fight. Well, we got the buffs on the ranged, which is pretty solid. Unfortunately, Chupa's always going to end up falling here. Nothing I can do about that. Oh, we shot that. Nice. Nice. This board does lose to a pillow fight. You got a, a two treasure crown. Which is pretty good. Uh, I kind of think I need the three of swords here. Attack's not irrelevant. Fool's gold might be pretty good, though, too. But let's get some attack up on this board. Because these friendlies are now suddenly much better with some attack to spare. That's pretty good. I want both of those. I can't afford both of those. Maybe if this just hits? Uh, we, we'll call that a hit. We'll support it. And then this one actually gets bonus attack, so that's pretty cool. I'll keep... I, I want I want those because I want to go Horn Evil out here if I can. I mean, rolling the dice into a shop of fives is not the worst time to roll the dice. No, oh, I wanted that to live. Okay, well, at least it didn't get the lady. That I'd managed to snipe the Lady of the Lake, I'd have been very sad. So we don't get any Chupa health scaling that fight kind of stinks. They didn't wonder for long, Yefe. They didn't wonder for long. Uh-oh. Uh. Hello? <laughs> do I do I need to restart something here? You uh You still there, game? Hello? Are you still there? One of these triples is way better. Oh my god, I gotta go kinda fast if the game's gonna be ridiculously laggy. It's like it's deciding whether or not it wants to give me a treasure. That's what it's lagging on. It's going like, do we give this guy a treasure? Nah. Do we give him a treasure? Nah. Do we give him a treasure? Ha! <laughs> nah. <laughs> That's kind of what the game is doing right now. Right, right meow. Right meow. I was going to take the attack buff here. That's a lot of health. Because the chupa's pretty big, but it's kind of, you know, we just... We got to triple one of these things. It feels like we're already a little too slow. Made it to 4K months ago. Didn't know about the Discord tournament. Haven't been able to get back to 4K since. Oh, no. That don't feel great. Oh, thank God that slayed. There was a target it didn't slay. <laughs> One of these, like, dang, girl, why them pigs so big? <laughs> Was that like a... Oh, there's a dark contract. All right. So they were dark contracted in addition to everything else. Meanwhile, I've got this uh, Spellweaver tank, making it very difficult to get to the back line. What's up, Woot? Well, Rocco, if you made 4K once, you can make 4K again. I have the utmost confidence that that is true. So if you want back in on these tourneys, I believe that you can get back in on these tourneys. All right, we'll take that. Heck yes. We're probably skipping this. Yeah. So we're about to get a whole bunch of extra gold. I think I'm going to go like this for a turn. What are we about to buff? This? This is most likely to... Or this, this has the best chance to slay from here. I want to probably just pocket something. Well, but I don't get any twos or threes. Right? Yeah, so if I want to pocket a gold for next turn, I got to buy like a four out of this shop. But if I roll, I can't afford anything anyway, so I think I'd rather pocket a gold here, even if it's a very expensive gold to pocket. <laughs> you don't have to pay FA. You don't have to pay me. You don't, you don't, you don't actually have to pay anybody. Chupa. I love that it's getting double evil eyes here. Oh, the friendly slays. That's cool. 
Are you afraid of my sea terror? You should be. You should be, ghost. <laughs> my sea terror wants to chomp you. Get chomped. Look, it's a board full of sixes and they all suck. Uh, do they all suck? No, they don't all suck, actually. So how are we, what are we, what do we want to do here? We want to go boom, boom. I want to get a boom hilled up. We're taking this, we're taking that. Got a very aggro. Uh, do we ever shard the Robin? Right now the Robin or the friendly is the best thing to play. Sharding Robin could turn into Baba. If we went from Robin to Baba, we'd be feeling very full of ourselves. Nah, we're not feeling very full of ourselves, are we? <laughs> we're not feeling very full of ourselves at all now, are we? Need a, need a boom. I need, I need like an attack support. I need to get the attack up on Empress here. That weird dude Jormungan can slay. I kind of like that this gets permanent attack buffage every time it slays. Alright, well, I'll save that for next turn. I need a Baba. Backline Empress. No. <laughs> no, and you know exactly why that's a no. <laughs> you know. You know. You know precisely what kind of trolling you're doing right now. Oh, no. All of my... Oh, no. Oops, all lightning bolts. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait just one second. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> it's the best. I don't need any of these. They don't help. Let's go. I need an attack support for the Empress. Pretty bad. I want to move this over and I want to get either a Baba or like I want to get a Baba right here or a Baba right here probably right here I don't know Chupa doesn't really need any more HP now that it's over 30 like the extra little onesie twosie attack buffs or health buffs don't really help a whole lot we just need a really good attack support that's what this board is craving and with Staff of the Old Toad you'd think we'd have an above average shot of finding one but we're not finding one. Another Empress. All right, we just need an above average attack support, AKA one more Empress. Also, we could just flip into trees here. There's a world where that is an option. All right, we're gonna play the, the Falling Stars. I'm sure that's going to be very good for us later in the combat. That was quite the fight, yeah. I lost my entire back line and then one off the back of one statted Jormungand. Wait, oh, it slays. Oh, that's pretty good. That was unexpected, but welcome. Okay. Silly thing is, if we get one decent attack support, that thing slays so much more reliably. Well, okay. Singing Sword's pretty good. Singing Sword's pretty good. Mimic's pretty good. We gotta go Singing Sword here. Thing is now... I think I do keep the Staff of the Old Toad. What do we know about this board? Not a lot. Not much of anything, really. Hmm. Yeah, we'll take the Singing Sword, we'll keep the Staff. Or, uh, we'll, I think we'll... I kind of want the Three of Swords, too. I'm going to ditch the Staff. So the question now is, what stays and what goes? I think Aeon's out of here. For another Jormungand. Jormungander! <laughs> Dropping Staff in this economy? I just want... I want Stats Treasures. We only have to find one Boom, one Baba. One Boom or one Baba. No, we're doing great. Okay, that's fine. That didn't slay, but this does. So that's everything's fine. Is it though? I think it is. 
It's a lot of wizardry. Oh my god. <laughs> Quit shooting the lady! Shoot the mermaid or something. Leave the lady out of this. Lady did nothing to you. There we go. Take HD to port. Bob, boom. Bob, boom. Boom, Bob. Bob, boom. Boom, Bob. Bob, boom. Bob. Well, I can triple this yarn. Okie dokie. Yeah, I can totally triple the Yorm now. Let's take the HP. Cat's Call would have been pretty good. It's fine. Yeah, this looks a lot better. If we can get one... One Empress Slay, we open the whole game wide open. This game, this game goes much further. Plus, this makes the Chupa so much more effective too, because now Chupa suddenly should be gaining big chunk gains in terms of stats. What do we have here, though? Uh, they had big wizards familiars. I might not be able to slay those. No, I can slay a copycat. If you can slay a copycat, you can slay a ball. Really kind of needed to hit that apple tree. Would have been way better. We'd have got our, uh, our Empress slay. It looks like I might be winning, but not KOing. Yeah. All I got left is 13 damage on this board. Or 10. Oh, because they managed to get through that too. Heck yes. Heck yes. This is our chance. This is our chance to get the Empress slay. We need to get this Empress Lay. If this can become Horn, though, oh my. I'm not going to tell you how I feel about that, but I got, I got some feelings about if that becomes Horn. I'll take the chicken. Uh, some extra HP could be handy on these ones that are so minus tenable against that book build, but I think I'd rather roll. I don't think I want to save the spell. However, next turn against a real non-ghost opponent. Magic means maybe the single most important thing I can find outside of Baba. So maybe I do save this. Or maybe I even just trade the chicken right now so I don't have to stare at it and see. Ooh. Oh. Oh, there's my magic beans. Okay. Uh, the problem is I kind of want to combine this the old-fashioned way to get horn. I want to I want to line on horn, so I'm gonna I'm gonna not go for the knighthood, Baba. Okay, okay, she slays. That is huge. That sets us up. It might have been. Jam Citadel important enough to play down just to make sure I got that. It's not a wild idea. Yes, exactly, bam. Exactly. The old fashioned way. <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> eh, you know, it's not that huge, actually. The evil eye is handy, but it. For the regular Baba, it's uh, it's not quite as multiplier. The funny thing is, this should probably just play over that. Yeah, it should. It should. Oh, ho, 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 okay. I'm probably skipping the. Well, no, I'm probably not skipping the treasure. I'm probably taking the treasure. Who am I? What am I talking about? I'm probably taking the treasure. Irel Pandora's box mimic. Seems pretty mimic. Seems pretty mimic. Okay. I think we do play the other Yorm. Switch these around, maybe get a little bit extra attack up on that. But yeah, I think we drop this and this, and we have, you know, we have main Yorm and backup Yorm. Okay, we are very scammable. I'm gonna save the soul tag just in case they put some kind of scam in. Last time around, they weren't running any other than the copycat nonsense, but outside of that. Oh, we just slayed a wizard's familiar. Ooh, I think we win this game. 
<laughs> uh, I put the weaker one in five because behind the Chupa, it gets attack. When the Chupa slays, right, it gets it gets attack. So I wanted to give it some attack. Well, oh, falling stars is annoying. Okay, well, <laughs> nothing but falling stars isn't that annoying. Cat's Call, that might have been a genie's wish. You're never sure. But Cat's Call is the sort of thing that my board feeds on. So yeah, Cat's Call definitely working against, in that case, not working for. I think, I think Strat, you're right. That last shop was fair to call ideal or at least close to it. This is not Omega Slay. This is a very competent sleigh board, but it can be torn apart by something like a Doom Breath, right? But it's it's a it's a strong enough sleigh board that if you don't disrupt it at all, it gets pretty spooky mid combat. That was a, that was a fun one.